Hey everyone, Sakani here. Today, let's take a look at how to solve this problem, which is just integration negative pi to pi of x to the power of 10 sine to the power of 7x dx. So if you want to pause this video and give this problem a go, just don't overthink it. We are not going to be applying integration by parts or use substitution. What we are going to do instead, we're actually going to review some odd and even function integral properties. So as we know, even function is basically says that f of the negative x is equal to f of x. That is the even function. And if our function is even, then the integral would look something like this. So here we are assuming f of x is the even function and we have negative a to a and that would result in two integration zero to a f of x dx. But in the other case, if we have an odd function, that's basically saying f of negative x is equal to negative f of x and that is going to be odd. And when that is odd, then our integral would be zero. So now all we have to do, we need to see if f of x, which is x to the power of 10 times sine to the power of seven x, is that an even or an odd function? And the only reason we can apply this is because our bounds are negative a to a. In other words, negative pi to pi. You can't apply this if you have bounds such as like three and two, it always has to be the opposite signs which is denoted by that negative a and a over here. So now let's say f of x is equal to what we just said before, but we also know that we have to find f of negative x and see what that is equal to. So if we do that, we get negative x to the power of 10 times sine negative x, and then the whole thing is to the power of seven. I just rewrote it. I know that negative x to the power of 10 is x to the power of 10. And I know that sine negative x is equal to negative sine x. And from here, I know that negative to the power of 7 is going to be negative, so I'm left with, which is negative f of x. So since f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, that is this part over here where we have an odd function. So our final answer is just going to be 0.